Let me ask you guys something serious. Seriously though, do you wanna go raw? Welcome back with your homie Nathan for a little recalibration. <laughs> oh, you guys, I love it. This is so amazing out here. Look at this beautiful spot I'm at. Just down here in this, just chilling the sand. I'm up on this rock. Try to get you guys a little vibe for where we are here. This is beautiful. So anyways, I just wanted to hop on here, guys, make a little video for you guys talking about you want to go raw. I had a couple people ask me, yo, Nate, I want to go raw. How do you go raw? This is the way you do it. You have the desire first and foremost. It's all about the desire. Have the mindset straight. You're like, I'm going to do this. This is something that's going to be really good for myself. And just start incorporating more of these raw foods into your life. Like how many raw foods do you really eat? Maybe take a moment and write down every single thing that you ever eat throughout the week, all plant foods. First thing, of course, if you want to go raw, I'm talking about being raw plant-based, raw vegan. Vegan even better because you're making the ethical connection and you're thinking, I'm not going to vote for all this stuff that's going on out there. I'm going to keep it plant-based. We can get everything that we need. We can operate these vehicles just the most optimum that we, that we can through plant foods. I seriously believe this within the depths of my soul from stories that I've heard and researching over this past several, whatever, 15 years. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to implement it. We need the why factor, the desire. So you want to go raw, just start incorporating more raw foods into your life. It's that simple. Go to the store, get the foods that look appealing to you and start incorporating more of them. But it'd be really interesting if you guys take note, write down every single food that you have throughout the week that's plant-based. Bell peppers, green onions, cilantro, cucumber, tomato, whatever these things. Maybe it's not very many things. And you can start to see like, wow, this is how much raw food I'm already eating. How do I incorporate more? Maybe it's only a couple things. Maybe it's like, I don't really have much raw food. Or maybe it's something that you don't really have too many plants in your diet. And you're thinking, I don't really eat too many plant foods. I mean, think about it like, okay, yeah, you know, cooked broccoli, or asparagus and potatoes or... Or maybe it's a lot of stuff out of box, a lot of pasta and a lot of processed foods. But you have this desire to go raw. So now what do you do? Just take note to what you're already eating. If you like it, make a check right there. I like this one or a star. If you don't like it, maybe start incorporating little tiny bits of it. Maybe you really don't like cabbage. It'd be good to start just maybe like, you could grab a, a bag of shredded cabbage, already shredded, so you're not wasting a whole head because maybe you're not gonna eat very much of it or it'll go bad, but this is the thing. Start to incorporate more of that cabbage into your day-to-day -day life. Like you can just have maybe a couple tablespoons worth or a quarter cup. Maybe if a quarter cup is too much, two tablespoons would be a half of a quarter cup, like an eighth of a cup. Just a very little bit into something, like a salad, maybe toss it into your smoothie. You won't even taste it but you start to incorporate more of these foods into your life. So what I'm saying is just focus on incorporating more little bits incrementally day by day, and that is going to help you. Not everybody can just become a raw foodie and eat nothing but raw foods overnight. It starts, maybe it starts a little slow. You start to get that, the mindset where it's a recalibration. We're constantly recalibrating. We read some information, we hear a story and we're like, wow, that really makes sense. Let me do a little research myself. This feels good, I wanna do this. Of course, I'm a proponent for having a solid foundation to stand upon no matter what you're doing. And that is where I feel it's very important to just be incorporating more abundance of raw foods into your life. Don't think about how if you don't do this, you're not gonna, be better or you're not going to heal yourself or whatever it may be, you're going to feel quite amazing. Just incorporate more raw foods day by day. That's how to go raw. If you want to go raw, just start eating more raw foods. Don't beat yourself up if you have a little cooked food. Don't beat yourself up if you have some bread, right? Or something rather like that. Just do good for yourself. The mindset is huge. We could beat ourselves up and really hurt ourselves in a lot of ways with the mindset like, I had some bread last night. Oh, you know, uh, maybe I'll make myself throw up, which I know people do. That's horrible. That's such a horrible mindset to have. Let yourself have a little bit of bread. Evaluate how you feel. What do you really want? Do you want better for yourself? 
then do better the next time. That's all. But just incorporate more raw foods into your life. That's how you go raw. It's that simple. You start to learn different things that you could do, different, you know, different ways to uh, incorporate more raw foods, to prepare them. And that right there is going to bring about a relationship with your food. Because it's all about a relationship. So many things are about relationships. What kind of a relationship do you have with your food? Hopefully it's a good relationship in a, in a lot of ways, but maybe it's not that great. So just focus on building the new. That's the best way to start. Just focus on building the new. Incorporate more raw foods day by day. You might find that you feel pretty good. Maybe you, you do a whole day of raw, or maybe you challenge yourself to eating an abundance of raw food for 30 days. That's really impressive. Like, how do you do that? The best thing to do, of course, would be to track what you're actually eating so you know, oh my gosh, I'm getting enough. This is adequate. That's where it's really important because sometimes coming into the raw food world, you may be thinking, oh, I had a pretty good sized salad. I had two salad bowls and that's, you know, twice as much or three times as much as I would normally eat. And, you know, I had a smoothie and I had some fruit. Well, when you actually start to enter it into Chronometer, which is a tracking app to see how much nutrition you're actually getting, vitamins and minerals and calories and whatnot, your proteins and your fats and your carbs. These kinds of things are really good to track. So that way we can recalibrate the system. We can track it is really important. So these kinds of apps are really cool. Chronometer is the app. I'll link that in the description down below. You know, if you're not tracking what you're eating right now, you might be surprised. But what happens a lot of times is people really under eat when they go raw. Uh, going raw, say raw vegan, no animal products, uh, all plant-based, just raw foods, and you can really under eat. So it's really important to, to record what you're eating. So you want to go raw, just start incorporating more, track what you're eating. And if you guys need inspiration, we've got meal plans, uh, pl hundreds and hundreds of recipes, you know, ranging from burgers to pizza to sushi to brownies of all these fun kind of foods and delicious healthy salads and soups and stews and curries, all kinds of really delicious stuff. Uh, Alyssa has also created a meal planner app um, and I'll link that in the description down below. Check that out. It's five bucks a month. You have plenty of recipes to choose from. It's a great way to support us. And I'll put the link in, right here. I'll put the link right here. It's raw food 40, 40% 40 off of all of the meal plans and the uh, recipe books. And really you guys, our whole gig, our whole thing, we're just obsessed with trying to help you do the best you can and want to give you that inspiration. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've stayed this long, give yourself a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and the, the bell for notifications for new uploads. And uh, if you guys also have you know some different ideas of how to incorporate more raw, share them in the comments. Share maybe a story or something. We can really start a dialogue in the comments section in a lot of ways and we can help one another. Really, it's all about just feeding ourselves abundance of delicious foods. We have the ability to feed ourselves really healthfully year round, every single day. We don't need to restrict ourselves. We don't need to cut ourselves off. We just focus on building ourselves to be the best version that we possibly could be and then help each other become the best version that they possibly could be. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, love you.